Many people dread stepping on the bathroom scale. It can be really frustrating and disheartening uh, to exercise a lot and eat really healthy and then step on the scale and see the number remain the same. However, just because your body weight isn't changing uh, doesn't mean your hard work isn't paying off, uh, especially if you are doing a lot of exercise, uh, it's likely that your body composition uh, has changed. Now in this video, I'm looking at what body composition is and how you can improve yours. While the scale will tell you how much you weigh, it doesn't tell you what your body's made of. Body composition refers to everything in your body split up into different uh, compartments. Now two compartments are commonly used, um, fat mass and fat free mass. Now fat mass refers to all the fat tissue in your body, fat free mass is everything else including muscle, organs, bone and fluid. Now if both of them change at once, you mightn't see any changes in your body weight. For example, if you start exercising, you may gain two pounds of muscle in the first month. Now, at the same time, you may lose two pounds of fat due to burning more calories through exercise or changes in your diet. Now, since your fat-free mass increased by the same amount as your fat mass decreased, your body weight won't change. If you focus on the number on the scale, you may become discouraged or frustrated because your program you know, doesn't seem to be working, even though it is. This is just one example of why knowing your body composition is much more useful than uh, strictly relying on body weight. So how can you assess it? There are many methods to assess your body composition. Uh, some are really simple and easy to use and others are quite complicated. One technique is tracking the circumference of different body parts. You may have had your waist circumference measured with a flexible tape measure uh, at the doctor's office. Now at home, you can also track the circumference of other body parts, uh, such as your hips, your arms, uh, legs, or chest. You can make these measurements using a cheap and flexible tape measure. And while a change in circumference can't tell you exactly if your uh, fat mass or fat free mass is changing, uh, it can give you an idea. For example, uh, decreases in waist circumference are typically a sign that you're losing belly fat. Uh, gram for gram, fat takes up more space than muscle. This means your waist circumference may decrease when you lose fat, even if your weight doesn't change. As another example, if you're exercising a lot with weights, uh, an increase in uh, arm circumference uh, would usually indicate that your muscle mass is increasing. The next option is taking progress pictures. Now it's often difficult to notice changes in your body from one day to the next, but taking pictures of your body every few weeks or months can be one way to assess how your body is changing. Again, this doesn't give you exact information, but it gives you a really good idea of um, how your body is changing in size and shape. Lastly, there are also devices you can buy that measure body composition. Uh, many of these devices use a technology called Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis, or BIA. BIA sends small electrical currents through your body to see how much your body resists the current. Uh, this information is used to predict your body fat percentage. Now, while it is nice to see an actual number for your body fat percentage, many of these devices aren't terribly accurate. In fact, research has shown that the common handheld BIA unit underestimates body fat percentage by about eight to 10% compared to more accurate uh, research tools. Um, what's more, factors like food and water intake before using these devices can make the results inaccurate. If you do use a BIA device, uh, make sure you use it in the morning before you eat or drink anything. And to make it a, a useful measurement, uh, just make sure each time you do do the measurement, uh, you do it at the same time uh, on the same day of the week. So if you do it on the first uh, Monday of every month in the morning, uh, Keep that consistent and then you have a good measure of baseline before and after. How to improve your body composition with nutrition. So your body composition is made up of fat mass and fat free mass. Now you can improve it by either reducing fat mass or increasing fat free mass, which is muscle or both. Any of these changes will lead to a decrease in your total body fat percentage, which is seen as the main number to describe your body composition. Now to change body composition, a good place to start is with some basic principles of nutrition. Now, although they aren't the only thing that matters, calories are one of the most important factors to consider. Now, in simple terms, if you consistently eat more calories than your body uses, you will gain weight, typically as fat. Likewise, if you consistently eat fewer calories than your body uses, you will lose weight. After you consider how many calories you eat, think about how much protein and fiber is in your diet as well. Protein is important for everyone, but you may need more if you are active or trying to gain muscle or lose fat. It is more satisfying than carbs or fat, and your body also burns more calories processing protein than these other nutrients. 
Fiber also has several health benefits and can increase uh, the feelings of fullness and satisfaction after meals. It's really important for us to eat more fiber and it can be obtained from plant-based food sources like fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and legumes. How to improve your body composition with physical activity and exercise. Of course, physical activity and exercise are other crucial components for improving your body composition. They not only increase the calories you use, but they're also necessary for optimal muscle growth. Since body composition can be improved by decreasing fat mass or increasing muscle mass, this is an important point. Uh, it's recommended to choose forms of exercise that will also build muscle while you're losing fat. Uh, your muscles need to be challenged by exercise, particularly weight training to grow and get stronger. So if you're engaging in this type of exercise, uh, such as you know, weight training, um, body pump classes, or even uh, resistant weight training, then you need to be thinking about how can I assess and measure my body composition, not just body weight. Ultimately, stepping on the scale is only gonna measure your weight. You can get a much more accurate and a bigger picture by assessing body composition or uh, how much fat mass and muscle mass you have. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative, and don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below the video.